Now, in Kava, uh, if you are non-vintage, it has to be minimum of nine months aging in the bottle on the lees. Um, vintage is also nine months, which is unusual. But if you go up to Reserva, then it's 15 months. And Grand Reserva is 30 months. And if you make a Grand Reserva, it has to be a brute level, no sweeter than that. So 0 to 12 grams. If the wine is what we call rosato, uh, rosé, they have to use what they call the sagné, which is the bleeding of the grapes. Uh, in other places, like in Champagne, if you want to make a rosé, you can blend white grapes or white wine and red wine. You cannot do that in Cava. And then they have some uh, single vineyard wines that they call Cava de Pajara uh, Calificado, which is a single vineyard. If that has designation of that on the label, it has to be aged 36 months. And then finally, in 2022, they came up with these two new categories, which are very similar to the, what I just mentioned, uh, but they, you might see these in years to come, the names Cava de Guarda and Cava de Guarda Superior. And then I won't get into it, but there's a lot of politics here. Uh, and there's a reason that there's now a new group that is called Corpanat, and they do not put the name Cava on the label because they think that people in Cava are producing too much inexpensive, cheap wine, and they want to raise the quality and the image of Spanish sparkling wines. 